Yo! As we all know, NFL season is right around the corner. So I'm going to be dropping my NFL predictions for the upcoming season. And let's get right into it. MVP. I'm going with Josh Allen. It's a quarterback every year. So, you know, there's about four you can choose from. I don't think it's going to be Mahomes because, you know, they have Juju. It'll be some off the field distractions. You know what I'm saying? Him and, you know, his younger brother, you know, they might be collabing. I don't know if that'll affect this game or not. Tom Brady. To be honest with you guys, man, I think his wife wants him home. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think he's going to win MVP because of that. Aaron Rodgers lost Devontae Adams. And, you know, he's always on drugs. So I wouldn't go with him. And I also have Herbert up here. I, I think he's probably the closest one to Josh Allen. But I'm going to go with Josh Allen. All right, coach of the year. Go with Kyle Shanahan. That's my coach. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to have the best record in the NFL. The only problem that we have is our O-line. But I think Ayuka is going to break out this year. We all know how nasty Debo is. George Kittle down the middle. People's favorite tight end. And my boy, Trey Lance. We'll make you dance. Comeback player of the year. Crab legs himself. Just look at his face. That's a comeback player of the year's face right there. I think he's going to hoop, man. Especially with Michael Thomas coming back. Hopefully Kamara isn't injured. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a big part of his MVP. Or excuse me. Comeback player of the year odds. He might be MVP. Offensive player of the year. Going with Justin Jefferson. Kevin O'Connell. You know, new offense. He contributed to Cooper Cup's success. He comes over to the Vikings. I've heard they've been like throwing him in the backfield. Which is... Nuts considering they have Dalvin Cook. And for whatever reason, Offensive Player of the Year is never a quarterback. It's always a running back or a wide receiver, which I don't really understand. But moving on, Defensive Player of the Year, I'm going with my boy. Oh, the words are upside down. Nick Bosa, baby, Nick Bosa. If you guys are big football fans, you all know that we had a great D-line 2019 and last year. I'm telling you guys right now, I think this is our deepest D-line that we've had out of the three years. And with that being said, I think Nick Bosa is just going to feast. Obviously, TJ Watt's up there as well. Aaron Donald's always up there. But I'm going to go with Nick Bosa, all right? <coughs> Offensive Rookie of the Year. This is a tough one, but I'm going to go with Traylon Burks. Watching this guy play just screams AJ Brown. I don't know if it's the build or what it is, and then you're slow him in the same offense that AJ Brown was in. Yeah, man, I could see him being a fan favorite in Tennessee. Speaking of fan favorites, defense and rookie of the year. I'm gonna roll with Sauce. His name's Sauce. That's all I need to say. Doesn't he have like a chicken wing or something? Yeah, he's got a chicken wing with Buffalo Wild Wings, bro. Like, come on, man. This is guy. This guy's locked down. So those are my awards. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about those awards. Now let's move on to the juicy stuff. All right, the standings. Let's go division by division first, and then I'll show you guys my wild card teams. All right, AFC East: Bills, Dolphins, Patriots. Patriots, Jets. I really don't think there's an argument for the Bills. The Patriots just don't seem to have their offense figured out. I'm not the biggest Mac Jones guy either. I don't know, man. I just think the Patriots aren't really going to be that good this year. So I have the Dolphins above them. You know what I mean? Mike McDaniel, that's my guy. It'll be a run first team with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle on the outside. And they have a new left tackle. And then the Jets in last. The Jets are just a little confusing to me. Like, I think they had a good draft, man. But it's just they're a little too young. I don't know what Zach Wilson's health is going to look like. They could be honestly second place in this division if they really want to. I wouldn't be surprised, but I have in last AFC North Bengals Ravens Steelers Browns now this one would look a lot different if massage man was not suspended for 12 weeks I probably have the Browns a little higher because that he is very nasty on and off the field but the toughest to determine was Ravens and Steelers which one I would put two and three and at the end of the day I just picked Lamar Jackson over anybody that Steelers are gonna start and the Ravens just always are around there they're always in there somehow so I'm gonna put the Ravens above the Steelers for now don't know much about Mitch Trubisky I don't know if Pickett's gonna take his job or not so a lot of uncertainty there but that's what I'm going with with the North AFC South I got the Colts Titans Jaguars and Texans probably the weakest division honestly maybe in the NFL I don't know let me know in the comments down below maybe the NFC East but Colts at number one I like Matt Ryan. I don't think he's done yet. I don't think he's out of his prime just yet. I was thinking about maybe putting the Jaguars above the Titans, but then I remember that it, it, it's the Jaguars. But I did him a favor, you know what I'm saying? I put him at third. Like, come on, Jaguars fans. If there's any of you out there, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're in third. It's not the worst. You know what I mean? You can't be the Texans. Or in fourth. I think they're tanking, man. I think the Texans are going to tank. I do like their quarterback, though, man. I do like Davis Mills, but Texans is still fourth in my opinion. Now, probably the most interesting division in football, probably the most competitive division in football, but A. FC West. I have the Raiders at one, the Chiefs at two, the Chargers at three, and the Denver Broncos at four. Okay, I got a, little, I got a lot of explaining to do. The comments are about to go off on this one, but let me explain, okay? I think the Raiders got a lot better this offseason. I think Garrett Carr's pretty underrated. He made the playoffs last year with like four of his players going to jail. Chandler Jones, like 
What? And obviously, Devontae Adams. Like, uh, are you kidding me? Put him next to Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller. Man's was literally throwing at Zay Jones last year. Like, he gets from Zay Jones to Devontae Adams. I don't know, man. I don't think a lot of people have the Raiders at number one in that division, but I do. Chiefs at number two. It's still Mahomes. He's still got Kelsey. Juju. And look, man, the Chiefs are just going to be good. Like, they don't lack speed. I still think they're going to be one of the best teams in the NFL, man. I don't think the Chiefs are slowing down anytime soon. So the Chargers at three. Look, on paper, this team looks amazing. The only spot I see them being weak at is maybe the right side of the whole line if injuries were off i'd have the chargers a lot up higher herbert's never made the playoffs i felt like they were good enough to make the playoffs last year and they didn't so i need to see it before i believe it chargers at three and then the broncos in my opinion one of the most overrated teams in the nfl russell Bronco wilson country. just signed a monster Best deal bro. do i think he deserves it absolutely not this man has not produced for like three years the whole line is shaky in a division where you have chandler jones khalil mack Chris Jones. I'm not the biggest Russell Wilson guy, all right? I'm just going to leave it at that. But I do have them making the playoffs. Matter of fact, I have all four teams from the AFC West making the playoffs. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Before we get to the NFC, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Join the movement. We're on the road to 100K. At 100K, I'm going to shave my head, all right? So if you click the subscribe button, you're contributing to the return of hashtag bald Hefe. Also, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming watch lots to all 49ers games this year. Come tune in. Come say hi. Come talk about your fantasy football team, your football team, how your wife's cheating on you. Come to come through come through all right let's get back in the video now let's move on to the nfc east i got the eagles at one cowboys at two commanders at three and the giants at four i think the eagles have the best roster i honestly think they can make a pretty good run in the nfc this year cowboys at two Dak has less weapons zeke is fat parsons is still insane i don't think trayvon Diggs is as good as people make him out to be but i think they're better than the commanders and the giants okay which leads me to the commanders they're just a mess like they actually might be one of the worst franchises in the NFL. But they're not worse than the Giants, who I think might be the worst team in the NFL. All line is a mess. I definitely don't like Daniel Jones. Kenny Galladay, just getting toasted. We're calling this man the Statue of Liberty, okay, with the way he's moving. Not seeing the Giants doing anything this year. NFC North. I got the Packers, Vikings, Lions, and Bears. I'm taking Aaron Rodgers on Molly over Kirk Cousins, Justin Fields, and Jared Goff. Vikings and Lions. This is actually kind of tough. I like Dan Campbell. I also like the Lions' weapons. I think if they get Jamison Williams back midseason, they could be pretty dangerous in the NFC. Aiden Hutchinson on defense too, but I can't forget, it's the Lions. They're gonna somehow mess it up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got the Vikings above them and then the bears i actually like justin fields this is the problem it's just they have no protection nfc south i got the buccaneers the saints the panthers and the falcons buccaneers tom brady end of story end of discussion I, it's just tom brady do I gotta say more? Michael Thomas is back. Kamara's gonna stay on the field. And I think with the addition of the Honey Badger, man, I think the Saints could be a force to be reckoned with in the NFC. A force to be reckoned with. That was kind of tough. Panthers at three. All right, Baker Mayfield. I feel like he's either gonna do really, really well in Carolina or he's gonna be terrible. I just don't think they're better than the Saints or the Buccaneers. But I do think they're better than the Falcons. So I have them at three and then I have the Falcons at four. The Falcons are just in the middle of a rebuild. Like they have a bridge quarterback in Mariota. They're setting up CJ. Stroud for success. You know what I mean? Like drafting Drake, London, Kyle Pitts, that, that just screams CJ Stroud weapons. And besides Grady Jarrett and AJ Terrell, I don't think they have another playmaker on defense. I'm just gonna be honest. But my boy, Young Leku. Keep holding it down, brother. Last but not least, my division, the NFC West, the NFC best. Niners at one, Rams at two, Cardinals at three, Seahawks at four. I think we're the best team in the NFC. Do I think Trey Lance could play at Jimmy G's level that he was playing at last year? Absolutely. I think I could have played Jimmy G's level last year. The only concern I have for us is our O-line, okay? Because our defense, our DB room, we finally addressed it. We have a deep DB room. We have a deep D-line. We have one of the best linebackers in the NFL. We have one of the best linebacking cores in the NFL. I know I sound biased. I know. But I genuinely think the 49ers are the team to beat in the NFC. But the Rams, they're right out there. I can't lie. They lost Von Miller. They lost Robert Woods. But they still have Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. And they added Bobby Wagner. It's just like, come on. Bro. They're still gonna be there, just lingering around, you know, which I hate, but I, I gotta admit, man, they're a good team. Cardinals at three. I just don't think they're better than the Niners or the Rams. Tyler just he just won't stop playing video games, man. I, I don't know. I can't put him up there. They lost Chandler Jones, which I think was a big part of their team. And Hopkins is also out for the first six games. I don't know, man. I just don't think Cliff and Kyler, they, I don't think they like each other, to be honest. Cardinals at three, last but not least, the Seahawks. Definitely gonna be the worst team in the division. Geno Smith. 
Gino Smith, no chance, no chance, no chance. That's a lottery team, bro. That's a lottery team. And here is how the NFC playoff picture looks like. I have the Niners at the one seed, Buccaneers at two, Eagles at three, Packers at four, all the division leaders. And then I have the three wild cards as Rams, Saints, and Cowboys. I think the Cowboys just edge out the Cardinals and the Vikings as well, but I'm not really too sold. You know, it's the Cowboys. They're gonna find a way to mess it up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Now, let's get into my Super Bowl prediction. The two teams that I think are making the Super Bowl are the 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. I think this is going to be the matchup in the Super Bowl. And I got my 49ers winning our sixth Super Bowl. The first one I get to see in my lifetime, hopefully. I got them winning 34-31 to 31 over the Bills in the Super Bowl. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all these predictions in this video, man. Feel free to drop your opinion. And don't forget to tune in to the Twitch live streams where I'll be doing watch-alongs and reactions to all the games. 49ers-Bears highlights video coming soon, all right? The NFL is back. Let's go, baby.